What's up guys? This is the Roachman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to run off happened last time, we successfully repelled the British outside Rome, and we, have, we are also chasing down their armies that have fled the field um, from their destruction, and we have also eviscerated the French garrison at Turin. Um, we could be in a position to attack, but I want to play it a bit safe and do a bit of replenishment before doing anything too crazy. Um, but because I have no money, let's hit end turn. We're two turns away from fire by rank. And then things are going to go really badly. And you can see the French reinforcements coming in. They're not going to make it though. Ooh. The sneaky, sneaky devils. I mean, I'm not going to win that because it's two units plus... They'll, they'll just outgun me immediately. So I'm going to have to auto that. If I had fire by rank, I reckon I could have won. But without fire by rank, they just had... They had too much firepower. And it looks like they're going to start trying to push me out of their ports. But it looks like the, oh, the Austrians aren't going to help me out. It looks like uh, my grand plan to send the army to the south over to attack Spain may instead get routed to support... or routed, routed... To support the attack on the French. Push up towards Paris, that kind of thing. Isn't a bad plan. Once you take Paris, you've broken their seat of power. It's not my ideal scenario. I'd rather have taken Spain first. Um, but it looks like the it looks like the uh, the French are really pushing it. So I need to rebalance my effort up to the northwest frontier. North, northwest frontier. Go go gadget, Barbary states. Yes. Interfere with their trade. Yep. So that was sad. But this is what happens when you've got such a thin front line. Um. Signore. I don't know, it is tempting to just move these guys now because I doubt the Brits are going to do much with these guys and the garrison here is pretty decently sized so I could attack them but that would delay things that much more so I might just send these guys north although they might rebel and form the Genoese Republic anyway which would be frustrating Bulkley's Regiment, Swiss Guard, Royal Sudois. Definitely just need to spend some turns reinforcing. And also, well, let's combine you with them. Let's start to churn out some. Two units of engineers. Start to add some better quality troops into the mix. Hmm. There's no point really rec recruiting anything. Could build the Governor's Palace just to get... I think it probably expands my garrison, maybe. Well, I don't really want to build things that will provoke them to move, because right now they're just sat still. It's on 7,000 a turn. My ministers are all okay. Although, let's have a look, see if there's any better ones. So flat plus two management, plus one happiness nobility, plus one happiness lower classes. I mean, this guy might. Sometimes when you stack them up, they've got so many attributes you don't. Really, I can't really be bothered to check them all out. Dare I spend money on something like that? I do not. I think I just spend it on a couple more troops just to help push the... or to get ready to help push the front. And let's start to build some secondary infrastructure in places that could use it. Potentially just build... Start building individual units of conscripts ready to push. One turn, and we've got fire by rank, and then the French will really pay for it. It says we've lost Liguria, but not in the grand scheme. If they want to attack my army here, they are more than welcome. Delle ombre. 
So the Brits have fled because the French have taken their island. Although it looks like they are probably going to go back to pick up an army of some description, which would be classic Britain. They've pushed my army out, so that navy out, so that ship's probably going to get sunk. Yep. Let's see how well you do, buddy O. Didn't lose any. Oh, you, you got captured. Disaster. <laughs> Yeah, the French have started to raid, but that's okay. <laughs> Apparently this is 50-50. I think not. We have to fight it ourselves. So that army is them and push them west. But then soon we will have two decent armies on the French into France. And soon we will have fire by rank, in which case we will take their capital. Yeah, we're back out here again. So you could probably deploy a bit more conventionally now because they've not really got they've not really got the forces to stop us so mm. let's deploy them up here and the rest of these guys can just deploy in a great line next to them pikes behind same with my cavalry Because look at these poor souls. This was 50-50. This could have gone either way. So much so I'm actually going to speed up time. Because we could make them route just from artillery alone. So what's that? They've immediately been knocked down 70 odd men. You focus on them, you focus on that unit of militia because they're the biggest unit. You, uh, no, do focus on the militia. I was concerned they might start charging my artillery. Successfully managed to bait my troops. There's only 16 of them. Even if they do get into contact, there's only 12 of them now. There's 10 of them. Just blast them with everything you got. These, these guys to fire down towards the main section here. Poor souls. General's bodyguards charged in. He's shattered. He's out of here. Maybe he may die. Where's the other where's the other guy? Yep, allegedly they are losing. Speed up the loss just to make sure we don't lose any any more men than is absolutely necessary. Speed up time again, because right now this is just they're gonna break. Enemy general's been killed. And they are out of here. <laughs> don't forget, toss of a coin. That one. We lost 32 men, they lost 606. Alarmy! And Turin is ours. And they're fortifying. Well, they're not fortifying, but they're digging in. 
and that army, the British army that's down there towards Naples, I'll slowly start expanding my Rome garrison and then I will send them south to send that army packing. Then I will have a local defence force ready to repel invaders. Yes, now I've got, now I've actually got fire by rank, so we are going to tear through them so fast. So we need to take advantage of that advantage and push north against the French. Because they currently still do not have it. If we can march up and take Paris, they'll hate us for sure. Not as much because we're Catholic, but they'll still hate us. And the British won't let us have free reign, but we can at least destroy enemies. And if I could take Strasbourg and Brussels as well. I even give Brussels to the United Provinces for an alliance. Yep, yeah, so they've raided our port and it looks like they want to try be sneaky little chaps. But then this is where... Certain things are afoot. So let's take you. Signore. You're nearly fully replenished. Let's check everything else first. Fire by rank is researched. Excellent. Don't bother with diamond formation. Social contract to get. Because only two turns. It's an easy tech to get. And fleet was destroyed. Well, fleet is a very grandiose term for a ship. Let's get two Swiss engineers, get Hussar unit, Swiss guard unit, and an artillery unit. And then I think that our force there will be enough to take them out. Whereas you, my friend, can push on and hit Charlotte, Charlotte Belmont. Yes, bring in your garrison. Let's do them with a bit of a bit of a breather. We can try build up a navy. Well, actually, I don't think I've got any dockyards that can actually build ships. So maybe taking well, taking France will help. I could build a dockyard in the Mediterranean. See, for some reason, my foot artillery units have got massive complements again. Come on, lads. Our strongest line units can conduct offensive ops these guys defend the guns cover on the left general on the center now where are their reinforcements They're coming in on the flank march guys just to go meet them See the cavalry running. All three of you, square. Yep, that was enough to make them break off. Let's get into position, ready to open up. Yep, they've taken a few casualties the initial volley let's watch glorious fire by rank the 13th hit the 16th Royal Soudois fire lots of muskets didn't work in the rain oh yes and here we've got elite troops at close distance close range Yes, you are shaking Swiss line infantry. You know what's about to happen. Our gunners focus on focus firing this central unit, particularly. So 
they are focusing on the Swiss line, which is beneficial. Let's get this unit out of square. Good, they broke. Set these guys up. Send my cavalry. Come on. Send them on an end round to go hit their artillery. They still are holding on fairly well. Not tearing through them as well as I would like, but mainly because of the weather certainly doesn't help. We've not got it's a pretty flat formation. There we go, they're both starting to waver. The morale impact of fiber rank is starting to show its value. My guys are steady. Gone to a good rhythm. Their cavalry's returned. Starting to break. The cavalry's realised I've paid their artillery a visit. They don't seem to care. So the Swiss line infantry broke, but they've come back. So let's change formation a bit just to make sure we don't hit all of our shots into that wall. There we go. Okay, our artillery start to focus on the left. Just like their cavalry is about to attempt to. Should keep fo should keep firing at the artillery instead. goes into square in case they fancy it. I think they will. They're going to donk into them. They get drawn into the combat. They form square, they form line. Form line. Let's make sure to get my cavalry, my general in a good position, ready. These Swiss line infantry have actually stood around quite a while. They're aiming at... Oh, okay, the general was, is in the cavalry unit. Well, I get you. Sweet. Let's hold fire my artillery. Absolutely continue. Kill their infantry. Kill them all! Oh, it looks like a bunch of them are... The regiment of horse has garrisoned the ruins, allegedly. He didn't think it was possible. Sure is now. There we go. Kill off these French regiments. Close victory. Yeah, it was closer than I would like. 
but still not close. Going, whew, thank God we won. Let's see, three to one ratio. Oh, they had to run that way, didn't they? Avanti. Up into the hills. 9 position to, to reacquire Genoa. But you're of limit. Well, no, they're not of limited danger, that's the thing. Ooh, some cool units of Naples. No, Venice. So Venice has Marines and Swiss Guard. Why have you got. Drill School, Royal Palace. Oh, is it because they've got a presidential palace? Oh, no, it's because they've got an Admiralty they can get Marines. And the Papal Guards, I'm sure, is probably because of the special big building. We've also got Swiss Pikes, which are wicked. But I want to recruit some, just some cavalry to get ready to try and deal with these guys. Because you're replenishing, you're replenishing. You're growing in strength from Rome. Everything's going well. Cool. Let's hit in turn. So I may have to send my rake back to back to Paris after all that. Especially if the... Oh, here comes another British army. So this is why it's a good thing that I'm still growing my strength inside the country. I mean, yes, I'm going to go drink. Lost equal amounts of men. God, I could really do with someone like France just tearing... Just tearing uh, Britain a new one. It looks like a small army that's attacking me, so I'm not overly concerned. But one of my Italian armies is definitely going to have to go on a Hail Mary to try and take out um, France. Then again, what does it? With my Faber rank now, I've got significant amounts of fire superiority. Do I still carry on with my objective to go and secure Gibraltar? Because that makes Britain no longer a problem. If I build... Well... It does make them a problem because they can sail ships through them still if I've not got a strong navy. But the navy hasn't been that impressive. And I think Gibraltar's got a shipyard in it, so I can act could actually build up some ships. Yeah, it's got a dockyard in it. Or do I just focus on the near enemy, especially as they've got lots of elite troops ready to respond. So do I just focus on the French? I think I do. So I don't know. I can't see their fleet. So let's sail a ship around like this to try and find it. There it is. It's a very damaged fleet as well. It's not great. It's got some horse, some infantry, and some guns. A fresh. It's a spoiling party. It's not a actual force to worry about. So let's, let's just take back Genoa. Because they've not got anywhere they can land and capture easily. I'll have a turn of replenishment for both of my armies. They can push up. Cavalry's not so useful now. Send one to Rome, send one to this army in Genoa, because you could do with an extra unit. Maybe build a drill school here. To be honest, I could do with actually maybe saving up for a few turns and trying to get... Start building up some fortifications. Because right now... Austria were very positive and they're at war with the Ottomans, the Prussians and the Poles. They've got plenty to be dealing with. They don't need to attack me. 
because right now I need all my trade ports. Because these villages aren't growing. If I exempt you from tax. 36 turns you'll get you'll get a port and you in 26 turns. I suppose for I suppose for longevity I'm gonna have to do that. To at least try and ensure I get a new port. I could probably turn Genoa into a dockyard. Let's punt them out. Let's get ready. Let's start doing that. And let's take this army, push them out, ready to hold, to keep this strong. And let's repair the iron workshop. Sweet. And let's hit end turn. So where will that British army land? Will it go to the south to support what they have? Oh, they've landed it on Bastia. God damn Britain. I need to build an Italian navy now. It doesn't even have to be very good. It just has to be something. Because that British navy is... Dilapidated. So it's not it's not as if I need an absolute rank after rank after rank of first rates. Fourth will do the trick, but I can't get fourth, not yet. With only one university. I think what I'm gonna do is that that army that's currently building in Rome, they will be they will re eventually retake Corsica. Um, not for any particular reason other than it's mine because it's a school of thought that says if I let Britain have that they might leave my other territories alone they might be happy that they have my land um, but that's not how I'm going to do this I'm going to go for it that has not yet been developed. I know it's not been developed that's why you're going to become a shipyard let's start building you guys are in good condition you guys are stuck you guys are replenishing a little bit more. Let's bring you guys back down to Naples. I mean, because they've all got mixed up, I can't really see how many good units I've got. Let's give them a general. Oh, I can't, because I have no money. Let's take this army and attack Richard Savage. Ah, now ah, they're very dilapidated. Send so these guys to replenish and get them back to Rome. Because what I have in mind instead is to take Enrico Cabotto and let's... Well, I've only got a handful of minutes left, so let's actually... Let's attack the port of Nice and get it back. Give them cause to... to concern themselves with their near border. So if I could send an army to go up to try and fiddle... not fiddle with Paris, to go and... take Paris, and then I'll take Cologne and maybe give it to the... United Provinces for a, for a temporary friendship. There we go. Fire by rank is so glorious. These guys can dig in if they like, but they have no firepower. Let's buy pikes up in the town, because it's less, it's more difficult to move cavalry. Cover on the flank, general in the centre. Yeah, see, they, de they deploy defensively, but they can't afford to sit back. Especially their artillery isn't firing. Neither is mine, to be fair. So let's take this whole wing. Push it up like so. You guys push up. Hop up to my spiky boys. Swiss Guard, form square. They have fire in advance, which is pretty neat.
too bad about the sound. There are people, Swiss Guard. You just have to hold on for my pikes to get into position. Pikemen. Let's get my Dragoons just to march up to get ready to attack their guns. And let's watch these chaps now with no things such as rain to slow them down. Yeah, annihilate them with rapid musket fire. You need to hold fire and let my pikes get out of the way. This canister shot tears through the Eastern European mercenaries. Yep, they're wavering and they're broken. Go Go Gadget Pikes. Let's get my general on the move. Another artillery unit also aim at this particular unit. Kill their artillery! These Gauls don't have a chance. I mean, I would like you to kill the gunners before they get to those spikes. But if that's not possible, absolutely continue. It is possible. Good stuff. Go that way immediately. Go after the Royal Sedois. Don't really care about them. Let my artillery continue to snipe. Beautiful. Damn, my general's getting lashed by my musketry. stuck on one little corner. Look at that. It's a decisive finish. Let's go after the mercenaries. They will live to fight another day. The majority of this French contingent, however, in particular this guy, And all that's left is this infantry over here, who will, must be close to the border now. Yeah, there we go. Damn right it was decisive. Screw you, our stuff. We invaded it first, it's ours. Look at that, 75 men lost for 805 of those. Take that, Noel. No joya for you. Let's get this port repaired. Spend a bit of cash repairing some units, and then let's get over the border. Let's see if we can just... Yeah, that's an auto battle, that is. We lost a lot more men I like, but we've managed to... clear the frontier as far as we can see. And let's go to the bridge. Sweet! This is a lightning offence. Offensive, not a lightning offence. Cool, let's instead of okay, hold on, let's pick new research. So we Division of Labour would be good because it's cheap. Gets us that town wealth. 
Kosk is not going to route. They're really happy about it. Our income's still not great. Could probably do with running a cavalry unit over to Nice, just to stop it from being destroyed. Let's hit end turn before we end the part and let's see what happens. Oh yes, the Papri states push back the British. That's what you get, son. Oh, and they immediately won against the pirates. Don't worry, France. We're on our way. We're on our way to say hello in a big way. And your navy can't stop us. I was hoping maybe the mighty, mighty Barbary States could push off an entire Spanish Navy stack. But we are going to continue to drive against the French. The cowardly dogs! So we're going to build up our garrison force in Rome, sail them over, take Corsica, then sell them back to Rome, take France which will probably immediately rebel. But then again, I don't want to destroy the university because I need it. Oh, okay, I don't like that. I don't like that Mughal Navy stack. Go get them, Portugal. Oh no, damn it. See, I've not, got, I've not had any involvement overseas yet, which I would like to change. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have become too unhappy. You must either... Okay, so you're grumpy. So if I send you a unit of conscripts... There we go, that's placated you. Signore. Enrico Cabotto. If I send... a complete unit of infantry... Well, actually, if I send a complete unit of infantry here... I can send some cavalry over to Enrico. And you may... I just mar do I just march him up? Just do that. That's just cavalry. A couple of elite units, but nothing super special. A couple of stragglers. They'll have a full garrison. But they've got basic fortifications, which is exactly what I like. So we managed to infiltrate France, and it's earning bank. That's like almost our entire income now. So we'd almost... Yeah, it is. Paris alone would be worth more than the rest of Italy. Industrial genius. Sweet. Although, too bad we're not doing research for industry at the minute. So one more tent on this chat built. Maybe take this army out of Genoa. Okay, let's split them up. I want some guys here at Turin in case these guys try to push around and attack. See, all you're doing is breaking your own... It says work Weaver's Cottage, oh, this. Yeah, I'm not going to fix that. That's asking to be raided. Britain still hasn't fixed the House of Representatives in Corsica. Let's get you chaps back to Rome. Awesome. But looking at the time, I've definitely gone over. Um, but I think this has gone really well. We've completely secured our own territory. Corsica is a bit frustrating, but we can deal with that at our leisure. And we've sent one army under Henrico Cabotto on a long-range shot into Paris. Because they may actually be able to get it. Yes, Britain, we're unfriendly. But we're not going to make peace. Oh, trade with me, 13 colonies. Jesus. See, no real surprises over here. Everything's just the way it normally is. And India's the same, more or less. Well, they've got Katak. Marathas have taken Katak. Mm, in general, no surprises. Um, but yes, I'm going to end the part here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.